What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I know it's been a while. I hope everybody's been well. I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. But yeah, this end of this last month has been a weird one. I was sick for like a week and a half, and it just lingered on. You can probably still hear it. I'm still not 100%, but way better. Um, it was just annoying. It's just a motivation killer when you're sick like that, and it lingers on. But I'm also trying to study for an exam. I don't even know how to study. I haven't taken a test in a decade. But um, studying for a certification for work. Um, certified anti-money laundering specialist. Yes, it's just as fun as it sounds. But uh, November's the end. Of last end of November, just I want to forget it. And it's it's a brand new week. It's almost a new month. And I got a lot of submission back. And I want to share with you guys the results. So it's around 13 games. And let's check out and see how I did. All right, so the first game I do, I've already looked at, um, the shipment from WADA came in two separate packages, one big, big box, and then one small one. And I figured the small one had one game in it, and it did have one game in it. So the first game is Pokemon Trading Card Game, 9.6, A-plus seal. I'm happy with that. Can't complain. It's high grade. Not the highest, but the seal grade... Uh, seal grade is questionable to me I, again i'm still not an expert yet but these games were all from factory sealed cases so nick found an amazon seller like a couple years ago that were, was, was selling these and they were only selling five at a time which is unfortunate because cases come in six and i believe i believe if you get a sealed case and you send it into water you can get like uncirculated up there which would probably make it more valuable 100 percent that i mean that would be a cool thing to have to have games graded that were uncirculated but unfortunately they own the seller on amazon was only selling them five at a time um probably good reason if he put if he put all he had he, they would have been gone because <laughs> nick and i were buying i, I think I, I i think i bought 12 from him and nick like bought around the same but yeah the seal grade i guess i mean the seal I remember the seals being in like not, I don't know weird weird kind of weird a little bit just like see how the crinkles on the bottom I don't know the but yeah I mean overall like the seals are crisp so I can't complain honestly I can't complain I bought this game for a hundred bucks <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah yeah first game. Next game up, so I got them. I opened the bags, and they're all in the slots of how they sh want to ship. So the next game is going to be another Pokemon trading card game, and it's another 9.6A plus seal. Ah, yeah, see, I, you know what? I'm guessing the A plus seal. I'm hoping there better be like a 9.8 because these are all factory fact games factory fat from a factory case that literally weren't touched weren't put on a shelf for sale like these all came from sealed cases but i guess you know just like the the manufacturing process you know can just cause the seal to be a, to have issues like that because like this one's not as bad as the other one but nah like the crinkles on the sides I just, there's a lot of crinkles. I remember looking at all of them and being like, ah, that's just a little weird. But I guess that does in fact affect the grade. But the 9.6 portion of it is, how the f how the hell do you want this to be more perfect? It came from a case. I guess, I mean, yeah, I guess from the little bit that they touched the game, the sell, Amazon seller, maybe could have caused something and how they shipped. And me just throwing the games around because they were only 100 bucks back back when I bought them. But yeah, 9.6A+. plus. I can't complain. Um, next game is going to be another trading card game. I know I sent four of them. And it's going to be... Okay, another 9.6A+. plus seal. <sighs> just looking. Um... Yeah, see how like the seal's like a little weird. It's a little weird. I guess that's why it keeps getting A plus, not A plus plus. Which is very disappointing because I know that A plus plus, that extra plus on a seal grade adds tons of value. Because these actually 
I plan on probably selling all f all four of the trading card games because I have more to grade. Um, and there's they're in same, some other condition. So, but there's some games I'm keeping in this batch and some that I'm selling. But yeah, it's just like look at the crinkle there. See that? That's yeah. That's that's probably why it's only getting an A plus seal. Why it's only getting nine point six? I don't know. But yeah. Again, can't complain. Hopefully this last one is a 9.8, A++. And it's going to be, oh my God. This one's, this one's the worst. Look how crinkled that is. Look on, this, on the right side, on the left side. Yeah, it's just the man, the, I guess is the, that little short manufacturing time frame that these Games probably all came out of this out, out at the same time. Yes, don't worry, applesauce is flowing. Um, but yeah, I mean the boxes are perfect. I mean, at least to me. Disappointed a little bit that I didn't get an eight point a nine point eight, eight plus plus, or nine point eight eight plus, or nine point six eight plus plus. I'm surprised I didn't get eight plus plus at all. I figured that the games were going to grade high when I sent them because they're just, like I said, they're from factory cases. Be a little disappointed, but I can't be an asshole and complain. But I will. But this, the trading card game, is probably my favorite Game Boy color game from my childhood. This game was so much fun. If you've never played it, give it a shot. It's going to be weird at first, but give it a shot the same storyline basically as regular pokemon games but you're just you're dual you're you're playing the trading card game such a fun game i remember getting every single card in the game possible highly recommend it personally my favorite game from game boy color all right next up oh uh, yeah it's gonna be a silver okay Okay, you know, I there were some issues. There were some issues with this. Um, an eight point five A plus, I am extremely happy with, because it matches my gold that I got an A plus, eight point five as well. So they, they're, you know, that generation they match. But yeah, you could tell there's, there's some decent issues up there. Um, yeah, even the side. There's some. Creases there. Yeah, but you can tell the front. The front's kind of a little, a little busted. And it's got like some specks of dirt. I don't know how it gets in there. But I guess that, I guess specks of dirt in the game. Because I guess, the, you know, they have those like little air holes sometimes. I guess a little dirt got in. I guess that does not affect the grade. That's interesting to know. That's definitely interesting to learn. Um, but yeah, A plus, 8.5. Very happy about that. Very happy about that. That's going into the collection. I know I had another silver, and this one, woof, <laughs> oh, I mean, I didn't think it was going to be that bad, honestly, guys, <laughs> like, Dow, I don't know about that, I don't know, that should, I don't know, that should be at least a seven, oh, no, never mind, uh, maybe I missed that that huge gigantic crease look at that oh boy yeah that huge crease the bottom the bottom isn't bad the side this side isn't bad um top's fine front is all right it's not any worse than the last one yeah the top top left there ah it might be a little low might be a little low that's why I'm, the next sub I have my next sub finished grading I still don't know the grades but that that finished grading after the whole red catastrophe so I'm, I'm thinking they hook me up on the next mission <laughs> and yeah no update on red yet they're still looking for a game it's probably gonna take forever but at least there's they're looking I mean just got to be patient and wait um, for the replacement red that they said they would buy me but 6.0 Oof. A seal. It is what it is. It's still sealed silver. 
still a great collection piece, which I'll be, probably be selling. So I think, I, I mean, honestly, sometimes when it comes down to it, I, I believe, you know, just having the sealed game, as long as, I mean, that looks, that looks nice on display. It's not hugely damaged in my opinion. And I definitely didn't warrant the six, I don't think, but like still as a display piece, it still will look nice because the front's decently clean. There's no huge, huge creases that are very noticeable, but yes, at the end of the day, like sometimes like these games have gotten so crazy expensive that just having a sealed copy is awesome. Next up. Oh, see, yeah, it's going to be an, a Pokemon puzzle challenge. 8.5 a seal i remember when this game popped up when i searched for it and i just immediately bought immediately bought i think i bought it for 300 which probably seemed high it was probably really high at the time but this definitely is a game that you don't see on the market that often and you see uh, 8.5 yeah yeah there's a little issue up there in the corner um, that's probably why you got the ace seal yeah probably that's why yeah that little corner if the little corner is like a little bust like that corner up there is busted up too that's probably why i got the ace seal so from that and then that up there the same corner right there even that corner has a little something like if it's a little torn a little bit that's probably why you're getting a plus seal but this game i feel like is it's a pretty um hard game to find sealed I mean, I know I looked like maybe like six months ago on eBay and I noticed a couple sold, but still it's one of those, one of those hard to find games. If you're trying to complete, um, the Game Boy Color, you know, set the Game Boy, the regular Game Boy and the Game Boy Color game. If you're trying to complete the whole, all, collect all the games, this is, this is probably the hardest one to find. So I, yeah, again, so like the, for me, the grade is cool. Sure. It's decent. Not the best, but for me, it doesn't matter. It's just this game's going right into my collection. Oh, next up. Those guys. It's going to be a Leaf Green A plus 8.5. Okay. 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 I know I bought one from Russia. <laughs> and it is the, 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 the version that includes the Game Boy Advance wireless adapter. Which the ones, the versions of Leaf Green and Fire Red that includes that, these are the more desirable ones. Overall, a decent, a decent grade. I don't know if this is the one I got from Russia, but you can see a couple issues up there, a little crease. This one might be the one from Russia. This might be. So if this is the one from Russia, I expect the other one to be a higher grade. Expect it to be the other higher grade because the other one was a, a lot nicer. Yeah, see this side's nice, crisp, clean. That side's nice. That side's nice. So yeah, the only issues. Yeah, a little bit here, a little bit here, and the top. Overall, I'm, I'm pleased. Um, I'll be selling whatever one is worst graded. I'm probably gonna only just keep one of these. So one's going in the collection and one's going up for sale. And then this fire, this, this leaf green. All right, so both got the same grade. All right. You know what, maybe this one, I forget, I forget. This one might be the one from Russia. They both have those creases on the top. But yeah, like that side's crisp, crisp, crisp. Back is pretty crisp, but there's some, no, that's not air holes. That's just from them putting in the in the plastic sleeve. But yeah, again, wireless uh, adapter version. So more sought after. Ah, this one looks a little better. They couldn't hook it up. They couldn't hook it up, really. <sighs> I'll probably be keeping this one out of, the, out of the two. I mean, I'll probably look them over again, but a little disappointed. A little disappointed in, in, in not getting a, a 9.0 in one of these. Yeah. Cause I had this game as a kid. I didn't have fire red, I had leaf green. Cause you know, I'm a grass guy, you know that. Overall, a little disappointed, but overall decent. Next game, so yeah, the last games are all Pokemon Snap. 
see, yeah, see, Nick, Nick was actually talking to the like the CEO of WADA, trying to get them to make a new case so that the label was up here. Because who wants to who wants who wants to display the game like that? Honestly, I don't know why they they went with this configuration to begin with. I don't. I really don't. It makes no sense. But yeah, Nick. Yeah, but like it's probably not happening because they the process and like the costs and all that kind of stuff and the research and testing and prototypes they have to get it's gonna take a, a year a couple years because they probably have tons of stock of these i mean to then just have their current inventory of cases just be obsolete would be stupid on their part and would not be a good business decision but 7.5 a plus i mean Pretty clean on that side. That side looks pretty clean. There's a little dent there. A little dent there. Look, I can see. Uh, but it's the dent in the front here. Okay. That's probably why I got 7.5. Still seems a little low. Still seems a little low. I guarantee it would have been higher if this 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 finished after the red catastrophe. 100%. 100%. 100%. You know they'd be hooking it up on the second one. On the second submission I sent. That I'm still waiting on. But 7.5 A plus seal overall. Got this. I bought this game for probably 100 bucks back a couple years ago. Can't complain. Can't complain. Um, I do want. I do hope one is 9.0 or higher for the collection. But this one's A seal. 8.5 yeah you can tell that that's you know that's probably why the seal grade was so low it wasn't a plus but yeah a little corner issues there again this one this one seems just I mean I guess because the front's a lot cleaner than the other one um that one yeah I guess it the other one had like a big dent here but this one has a little couple issues, uh, but I guess that's probably why it got a much higher grade than the other one. Overall, I mean, A seal, 8.5, that's, can't complain about that. Next up is, whoop, whoop, whoo, there we go. Here we go. That's the one for the collection, baby. A plus 9.2. There's a little issue there. See that? But... That side's clean. That looks clean. 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 Back. Pretty clean. A little issue there. That's probably why it didn't get higher. But overall, that's a beautiful copy for the collection right there. And you got that deep badge. So this, yep, this is one of the deep badges. Can't complain about that. I'm happy about that. That one's going in the collection. Last and final game another pokemon snap and the worst one of the batch <laughs> i mean i sent another one in the, in the in the other submission that i'm still waiting on and that's probably gonna be like a six easy that one was all that one was all screwed up but yeah i mean i can see why it warranted the acl because the corner right there probably most likely and then that corner too down there see it yeah and then that corner too that's why i probably got the ac seal and then 7.0 yeah. uh the back probably the back see the back yeah, it's got that whole bad but again i got these games for a hundred dollars so i'm happy with anything i'm most likely be selling three of the snaps maybe i'll keep another just to keep two but the others will definitely be going up for sale. So that was the last game. It was a decent result. Um, couple disappointments. Um, I wish one of the Leaf Greens got 9.0 or higher. And I'm surprised neither of the trading card games got higher than 9.6A+. Those are the only two disappointments. The other lower grades I expected, because they weren't great. I was just grading them to grade them. Um... But overall, they're decent, right? Yeah. But uh, I want to say thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the hit video, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It would mean a lot. And I'll catch you guys later.